and welcome to part two of our uh, cooking video game recipe series. Um, got some water simmering here. That's that awful noise you hear. Um, it's simmering. So today we're going to be making a recipe from Stardew Valley. We're going to be making seafoam pudding and that sounds really gross, <laughs> but I, I liked the way it looked and I wanted to make something that wasn't just like pizza or uh, like roasted vegetables. Anyone can make that. That's not very unique to Stardew Valley. They had seafoam pudding and as far as I looked, that wasn't a real recipe. So I had some like creative liberty with it. So rather than doing, making my own like actual seafoam pudding with like fish and stuff, because that does not sound like something I would enjoy. Um, if you look at the, the picture of seafoam pudding, boom, I'm gonna put it right there. It's green, and so I was thinking, um, you know, I might want to do like a mousse of some kind, so that way it's got like a foamy feel to it. I could do a lemon mousse, and then I could dye it green. And then I decided, actually, it's probably easier to just do a lime mousse. So that's what I'm doing. We're making a lime mousse, and we're gonna be calling it seafoam pudding. Um, unfortunately, the recipe I had already picked out was a lemon mousse recipe, and, um, <laughs> I just adapted it for lime, so the recipe is linked down below, but just know it is a lemon mousse recipe. So we've got our our water right here. It's going to be simmering. We're going to be doing a double boiler, which I'm not excited to do because I hate double boiling. It freaks me out, but we're trying new things. We're going to do it. I'm just scared. I've got everything measured out ahead of time. So first, while that is heating up. We've got our lime zest in here, our lime juice, and also in there we're going to need to put a cup of sugar. This is how my uh, Stardew Valley character Margaret is dressed. She's wearing overalls and she has a little straw hat. I don't have a straw hat. <laughs> so um, we're not going to be doing that. All right. Okay, so we've reached about simmering point. So we're going to take our eggs, we're going to whisk together our lime juice here. Okay, our zest. This might be a little more zest than it called for, but I want it to be really limey. That's forever my big gripe with a lot of curd and mousse recipes. There isn't, and it's not sour enough. So I'm gonna make sure that's really sour and we're gonna put our cup of sugar in. All right, so we're gonna mix this together. We've got this whisked together. Our next step is to put it over the double boiler and cook it for 15 minutes. And we're just gonna speed through that. It's nothing special. I'm just really scared of the glass exploding. <laughs> okay, so. In our 15 minutes, I already messed it up. I didn't realize until three minutes left that we were supposed to be stirring it with a wooden spoon. But that is on me. Okay, so now we're gonna remove from heat and we need to let it chill for 15 more minutes. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge and chill it in there for I think one to two hours. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right here and I'll catch you guys up when it's done. It's done chilling in the fridge. See y'all in a sec. Okay, we're back. So our stuff has chilled. Um, we basically made a curd, and I'm not sure how we're gonna turn that into a mousse, but the first step, we have our, our remaining egg whites here, and we need to beat that until it becomes a meringue. So, okay, <laughs> it has been one minute, and now we are going to add in two tablespoons of sugar. There's our second tablespoon. Now we need to beat that until it's stiff. Once again, I'm gonna pause because there's a really obnoxious loud sound. So catch you in a second. Okay, we got our stiff peaks here. That's what it should be at. Okay, now we need to add it to our, our curd that we've got. I'm gonna really quick just try and knock the rest of this ring off. We're gonna fold this in and then start with our heavy cream. 
Okay, that's pretty much folded in. And then our next steps are to add the cream and whip our heavy cream and then add that. Now, I, I knew this would happen, um, but it's not very green. That's because despite the fact that limes are green on the outside, they aren't green on the inside. Um, their juice is yellow, just like a lemon. So I ended up getting, I have some food coloring. <laughs> I'm gonna put just a very small amount of green in there because the pudding in the video game is green. So this needs to be green. So we need one cup of heavy cream. I'm pretty sure this is one cup. I just wanted to make sure, yeah. Okay, got our heavy cream in. We've got two drops of green food coloring, so hopefully it's not too aggressive. And now we need to whip this until it's stiff peaks. All right, got our, our cream completely whipped here. You can see it is very stiff and it does have a good amount of green to it. I'm very glad for that. Here's the rest of our mixture. And now we're just gonna toss this in and hope that it, it turns into a, a mousse. Oh no, I gotta chill it for 30 more minutes after this. There's a lot of chilling involved here. What? What? Do you wanna go outside? Yeah, I'll come let you outside. Bye, ma'am. Just barely let her in like two seconds ago. Anyways, here's what we're looking like. It's definitely, it's a subtle green. This is why I need to chill this for another 30 minutes and then we can serve it. So I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay, hello, I'm back <laughs> and I'm upstairs. So here's our finished mousse. Um, it's a little runnier. I wanted it to be, maybe that's, I don't know, a million things could have gone wrong, but is really good for how much cream went in there i'm impressed and <laughs> very happy that it is still pretty tart i think i would totally make this again it does not look anything like the picture but also this is real life and that was pixels <laughs> so i'm i'm pretty pleased it looks like some there's some bubbles in there still but i don't know maybe i would have whipped this too I'd make it again. That was a 10 out of 10. Definitely, it definitely went better than last <laughs> last time. Um, so I've linked that recipe down below. Again, it's a recipe for lemon mousse. Um, just substitute limes in, that's what I did. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that and I will catch you on Saturday for our final part of Zoo Tycoon 2. I love you very much and I hope you're having a good week.